Hello fabulous Gemini, welcome to your horoscope for the month of March 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is, and it truly is so incredible. And part of what makes it so incredible is Uranus. Uranus will finally change signs for good. We got a little taste of this last year in the middle of last year, but now here we are, and it is going to be right around the sixth of the month, which is actually a really busy day. I'll talk more about that in a moment, but that is the day when Uranus will move into the sign just before yours, opening up your awareness to yourself and to your psyche and your spirit and to the great karma that is going to find you in flashes. I did speak about this in the Uranus special, so I will try to remember to link to it in the description below. Now, I would also add uh, with this that it is likely going to be a time <laughs> where it feels as if you get a whole new perspective based on what you didn't know before. So for some, this is going to be that sense of uh, externally, right? Like maybe there's something uh, that has been happening in your external environment with somebody else and you weren't aware of it. And now it's like the secret is revealed to you, but it could very well also be you getting insights into yourself, having a very deep understanding as to where it is that you've been getting in your own way despite your stated intentions or even your best efforts there may be something that you're doing that is getting in the way of what it is that you truly do desire and it is going to be in a flash that the truth is revealed to you and once you know once awareness has happened it's that you can't unsee and you can't unknow what it is that you come to know and that means that transformation starts to happen as well in a way that I think you will love very much. But what's also happening same day is your ruling planet Mercury will be going retro. And so this is happening at the very top of your sky. And a Mercury retrograde tends to be that much more important to you because this is your ruling planet. Now you add to this a new moon as well at the very top of your sky. And it is a powerful new moon happening hand in hand with Neptune, which is adding this element of faith and magic to it. And this new moon will be speaking in harmony with Saturn and Pluto as well. So there's this sense of power and long-term results that is part of magic actually manifesting for you. What this tells me is that an opportunity that you thought was gone for good, a career related opportunity, an opportunity to align with life purpose could even be related to some reward or accolade that you had hoped to gain. Something that you thought you had had your shot and now it's gone, it's gonna come back around in some way. It could be a brand new opportunity as well that in some way is connected to something that you'd hoped for in the past that you hoped would come to fruition but didn't. Well, now with this new moon, there will be new opportunity but with the Mercury retrograde, it means that in some way what's new is reflecting what has been before, is coming back around. And I would also add that because Mercury is your ruling planet, what is taking place is deeply meaningful to you as well. It's deeply personal and it is helping to redefine you in important ways. It is leading to a deeper self-reflection. You're gonna be quite focused in this month in particular uh, where it comes to a matter, again, career, social standing, life purpose, maybe even just a goal near and dear to your heart. And that may be part of a fresh perspective as well, but make sure that you're being patient with yourself. If it is that any new career related opportunities do show up for you, know that um, what it is that you are thinking, what the role may be, may not actually work out that way in the fullness of time, but it can actually end up being a whole lot better as well. And chances are, uh, like I said, there's the sense of awareness at this time as well. And so just very quickly becoming aware that what you thought an opportunity was, isn't that. Uh, and it was you that misunderstood. Um, becoming aware that there's been this great karma that's been playing out, that's been part of this new career related opportunity. These are some of the ways in which this energy can manifest. 
But keep in mind, because this part of the sky also has to do with life purpose, if you are oriented in that direction, you may be asking yourself some very revealing questions at this time. And it is important as part of the process of aligning yourself with that higher, more loving vision for your life. As we move later in the month, right around the equinox, the 21st of March, happy spring equinox to everybody out there, unless you're in the Southern hemisphere, then happy fall equinox. Uh, but this is going to be important for a few reasons. We have a full moon taking place at this time. This full moon is happening in fellow air sign Libra. And this is a part of the sky that has to do with a few different things. So it has to do with romance, and I'll talk about that in a moment because you've got some lovely things coming up for you this month. But it also has to do with creativity. Now, whether that's uh, your own children in terms of the creations of your life, or whether that is your creative efforts and using your creativity to your advantage, this can be a time when not only is there a sense of completion, but also a sense of beginning. And so if it is that you'd been hoping that a matter having to do with your child uh, would come to a healthy close so that they can begin a new chapter or a new endeavor, it is gonna be this full moon that helps you to do just that. If it is that it is children that you want, this can be a time when it feels as if the information you need is illuminated. And keep in mind your fertility will be very high uh, at this time of this full moon. And as I said, creative endeavors of any kind, whether it is showing your creative endeavors, uh, this can be a time of a completion of a project that in some way promises you a sense of a new beginning and new opportunities ahead. But of course, as I said, this part of the sky also has to do with matters of love because it's about flirtation and romance and it really comes down to what it is that your heart truly desires in every area of life and having a life that feels more passionately fulfilling. And so we've got here this full moon that is having you reflect on many different areas of life under a Mercury retrograde, no less, which is also having you reflect more on the bigger picture of your life. This is going to be energy that coalesces and shows up for you in all kinds of interesting ways. So yes, matters of love. Let's talk about love with this full moon. And then you add to it for almost the entire month, right out of the gate, we've got Venus moving through fellow air sign Aquarius, which means that you're able to use that Venusian energy that much more to your advantage. Well, I feel like this is going to be a time, especially as we move later into the month, where it feels uh, like that much more opportunities available to you. And it just feels like a time when you're getting in touch with what it is uh, that you're hoping for from another person, the romance that you want in your life and where it is that you want to feel more in love. Yes, with every area of life, but including in matters of love as well. If you are open to meeting someone new, this can be a profound time for you because this is where you're more willing to get your flirt on, on the one hand, uh, but you're also feeling more optimistic than usual. And that really is thanks to that Venus connection for most of this month. And that's gonna allow you to be more open to different types of people than uh, maybe you have been in a while. And at the same time, it's going to allow you to just truly enjoy the moment thanks to that full moon. And it is in those lighter moments that a love connection can be made. But remember, it is a beginning. Yes, it'll help you to become more aware of what it is that you're wanting and feeling and possibly getting very caught up in a moment. But at the same time, it is a beginning. It's a fruition because it's a full moon and there's a lot of emotion in the air but it represents the very beginning of a journey for you. That journey may be with this person or maybe a journey towards greater love than you've known before. For those of you who are getting to know somebody, this is going to be a lovely energy for you this month. You're having fun, you're having new experiences with Venus helping you in that, but also this full moon is gonna help you to feel uh, that much more as if you are envisioning a greater and greater future with this person. I feel like this full moon is going to be one with a lot of joy, a lot of romance, yes. Uh, and that is something that if you are dating somebody, can be a very powerful experience. For those of you who are in an established bond, 
Well, this is a time of making plans, making bigger plans with the person that you are with. This entire month, it's really about considering the adventure ahead and how the two of you can cultivate a greater sense of adventure. We also have, of course, that full moon. As I said, fertility will be very high and the desire to connect with your partner on a more romantic level will be there as well. And this does represent a sense of clarity and a sense of beginning for the two of you as to what it is that you are truly needing from each other on a matter of heart. And you may find each other being more honest about that with each other. And that ultimately can help to bring the two of you that much closer together. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here, but I have to say, I do love that new moon in the early part of the month. As I said, a lot of the action is taking place right around the 6th, but you wanna give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet. Some people are gonna experience that Mercury retrograde take place a full day before the new moon. However, you'll feel it all right around the same time. And given that new moon that is truly inviting you to expand your horizons and to look up, uh, to think more about the possibilities for your life and the larger consequences too, the legacy that you are leaving in your smallest moments. Well, I think that this is gonna be a time of profound realization, but also tangible and inspired opportunity. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, including the Uranus special horoscopes and so much more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.